So you just created a great ggplot and now you want to save it to a file so you can email it or add it to your paper or poster or just look at it later. You can do this with the ggsave function. First, let's create a scatterplot based on our diamonds data. So that's ggplot diamonds x caret y price geom point. Now instead of displaying it, let's run that line again, but save it to a variable called p. We do this with p equals this. Notice that when that happened, the plot didn't get recreated. It was built but never displayed. We saved the entire plot into this p object. Now we can save that plot to a file instead of displaying in our window by using ggsave. So that would be ggsave file name equals diamonds.png p. What just happened is we created a file called diamonds.png that saved the image. So it doesn't have to be a PNG. We can also create a PDF file by doing diamonds.pdf or a JPEG file diamonds.jpg. You can read about the formats that ggsave supports and about the other options you can set like figure height and width by doing help on ggsave. One useful shortcut is if you just displayed a plot, so in a line like this, then ggsave will know to save that plot by default when you perform ggsave. You don't even have to tell it which plot you're saving. You can do ggsave diamonds.png and it will save that plot to your file. Just make sure you're saving the plot you mean to save. Within our studio, there's one other choice for saving a plot. You can click on export, then save plot to image. and then select your width, height, file name, and so on.